So we are distributor for Unitree in the Netherlands and Belgium. And today we are presenting the latest robots. And I always say future is now because we're actually selling them already to clients in the Netherlands. Yeah, and what kind, um, you, you say we already selling them, uh, they, they can be used. What, yes. what are typical use cases at this point in time for humanoid robots? Yes, because this robot is also of course fun and a gimmick, but we see that actually the police is using them, uh, the fire department is using them, we have also uh, offices that are using them, that's more a gimmick for guidance, uh, and a lot of university to do research, but uh, the first clients that are actually using them yeah, are the police and the fire department, uh, for example, uh, for safety, because when a human as yeah, maybe a danger, then it is better to send a robot to do some to bring something to a hostage or maybe to observe something or gas detection in a, in a house, um, all those those kind of things. Yeah, and uh, we see a lot of investment, especially by uh, American companies, but also Chinese, of course, in the integration of humanoids and AI. That's also what we see here yeah. at uh, at Ikra. What, yeah. What's your opinion on on that? Those two technologies merging. Yes, so what you see now, of course there's a race going on, a lot of companies are investing in humanoid robots because they can actually do something now that is coming in the neighborhood of a human. But they are still, still not a human, so you cannot bring them coffee or whatever they will, yeah, it's maybe later it will be better and better. And now merging all those AI possibilities and hardware and good software, yeah, it's opening a whole new world for the care market, we think, and in the uh, fabrics, in the logistics. That they are the main focuses what we see, and that with machine deep learning, they learn on the spot to pick up things or, or whatever. And I think that's a breakthrough, especially for humanoid robots, that it is combined now in the latest technology. Yeah, and uh, yeah, a question I have to ask regarding robotics because when I talk to people here, there's still some people who say, yeah, robots, robots, are they going to take my job? Well, yes. what's your answer to that? Oh, no, they will help you. They will definitely help you, um, especially yeah, if you see the movement of my arms and my, yeah, a robot cannot do that at the moment. Uh, but you can imagine if you have to walk uh, every day two, three kilometers to pick something up and in the meanwhile, especially in the care, Maybe that time that you spent on walking to bring something to the garbage or to pick up some towels for a, a client in the care, you can also talk to a lady and give her other help than doing stupid work, what a real robot can, can do. So I always say also, um, you can have a warm hand in the care, or you can have nothing, or you can have a cold hand, eh, the, the robots, it's your choice, but it will help you. And if you explain it like this, that it helps you, that you can uh, sh yeah, shift your, your focus on the client and doing that repeatable uh, work, they understand that it can really help you.